Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, everybody. Today we have the most incredible car we've ever had on this show, ever. And you'll never guess what we find in the boot. They actually won't guess. No, no they, they won't guess. Uh, before we jump in, I just wanted to let you know about a mad new loot crate that we have. It's Cheryl's box, but it's upsized. It's Cheryl's big box. Almost $200 worth of mad Mighty Car Mods loot, including exclusive items that you can't get anywhere else only available in the box. It's guaranteed to have a t-shirt, it's guaranteed to have a special edition hat, and uh, at the moment, you'll also get some tools for your car from Tool Pro, like trim removal tools or ratcheting tools. It's a huge box full of mad loot, and we will ship it to you anywhere in the world. It's massively discounted. We'll pack it, we'll choose it, we'll ship it, you'll get it, you'll be the boss with exclusive things that you can't get anywhere else. But now, people, strap yourselves in because we're about to go on a very, very wild ride with my new car. In very rare and unique circumstances of intersections between time, space, opportunity and stardust, something comes up on Facebook Marketplace once in a millennia that there is no way that I cannot buy. This particular car came up this was buy now, send a tow truck, wasn't it, Martin? This was just, this, this, this car is what I'm all about. It doesn't matter what you've seen over the last decade of watching this show. <laughs> 240Zs, 180s, minis, Golf Rs, none of that Audis. matters. What matters is this. This is art, man. Today this is matters. a statement. Today matters. Right now it matters, Martin. This is this here is and now. the zen of the modified car. Martin, how are you feeling right now? Can you explain to our friends what you're experiencing right now? This interdimensional experience, this explosion of Australian colours. I'm experiencing the full time machine effect, dude. I'm back. Yes. I'm back in that time, and we know what time that is. We know what time it was. We know what was going down. We know what was dropping and what wasn't dropping. We yes. know what was getting stuff dropped. Yes. It was stuff like this. And pants. Exactly. There was pants dropping. It was dropping. dropping pants. And like, the amount of detail that goes into one of these cars, the amount of customization, the amount of time and effort and money is just like, well, we've been there, we know, we yes. know this. But you're right, you, you can't go past these cars, man. You can't. Well, you could probably pretty no, easily. No, we, we couldn't and we did it and so we bought this car and it was feverish it was a feverish sale there must have been at least one person including us who really wanted this car yeah, i reckon and so we bought it and do it we need to do anything to it martin so much better than i could have imagined it's it's so much better in real life than the photos which the doesn't always happen best car the we've ever had on this show you're probably wondering catfish. what kind of car it is it's a dogfish is it it's a dog ferret, isn't it? It's a dog <laughs> ferret. So this here, well, do you want to have a look at it? Yeah, let's have a look. Do you want to see what it is, Martin? Yep. Should we show the people? Yep. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. Special And episode. let me introduce to you the best damn Honda Civic on this show. Whoa, 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 whoa. This here is a completely custom, completely green, completely cashed up extravaganza of a vehicle. I'm about to show you some things that you probably haven't seen before. Ever. And so much so, your wormhole will be blown 17 galaxies. Let me give you a hint of what is to come. Yes, this center cap here is a casino chip. There's airbrushing inside the wheels, not just on the outside of the wheels to match the car, on the inside of the wheels. So this is a sedan Civic. 2002 model. Wide body, Martin. Wide body. Custom wide body. Look at it. Yep. Now, I'm gonna be getting to back here shortly but I do believe, Martin, it has got a twin four-inch tip exhaust. Do you reckon that's four inches? Yeah, easy. Or more. That's eight inches of exhaust, man. Look at that. And you could put more here. We got custom colors. Elf. We've got a wing that does something special. The boot, we're getting to that shortly because, like I said, 17 wormholes. Look at the color theme, dude. Have a look at the quality of it. This is a $100,000 show car, people. Whoa. 
This is a hundred thousand custom interior, custom dollars. body kit, custom paint, airbrushing, custom wheels with custom airbrushing also. Even my good friend Martin, who I love and adore, will now be able to confess to you that this is the best Honda Civic we have. Agreed? No. What are you talking about? This is the best Honda Civic we have on the show. You have the yellow one that you made, the B16. Oh, you mean blah, the, blah, blah. the really nice EK with the, that looks like with brand new fresh paint that we modified, we've yes. got a good engine in, all that work. Yes. You were there. Yes. And you think this is better? Well, th this is, well 100% this is better. I'm going to show the people why. It's, you you want to know why this is better? This is not better. Do, I'll, I'll explain to you why if you'll listen just for two minutes. You can hear that, right? Yes. What is that? Just wait, Martin. Because you're about to find out why this is the best Honda Civic we've ever had on the show. Oh, I feel a song coming on. Is that what that is? Your car goes boo boo ba. Your car goes brap brap brap. Your car goes ting ting ting. My car goes psh psh. goes push. First of all, I know what you want to see. You want to see inside the snout. So let's have a quick look over here and you will see underneath this, how does fiberglass rust? <laughs> Well, it's stuck to the metal that rusted. Um, lots of bog and lots of moisture, Over here, can you hold that for a second, Marty? Oh, it's so heavy. Over here... That's got to be 25, 30 kilos easily. We have a turbocharged, what we believe is a 1.7 litre, no VTEC engine. But this is a... What does it say on there, Martin? I don't know. I was trying to find, like, what version of, v of Honda yuckness this is, but this is a 1.7 litre. Apparently they came single overhead cam VTEC or just single overhead cam, or this particular version of cars, like EP3s, does that sound right? I'm not the oh, I'm not a Honda person. That. They had K20s in them. This doesn't have a K20. This is 1.7 litre single overhead cam that someone has put a massive, well, it's not a big turbo, but look at the manifold, big external gate on it, dude. Look at that. Like, that's, that's some time and some money right there. This here, I imagine, would have had a huge blow off valve massive. in the day, like just yep. absolutely huge that's since been blocked off. So if we can get this car working again, I gather we're going to get some hectic pigeon. And like every other X sex spec car, it's just been neglected. Yeah. Like the front end, you probably notice, like it's covered in $100 bills and airbrushing. Yeah. But from here forward, it's not. So someone's like color matched it, probably because it's been crashed, but judging by the front, nothing fits. Like yeah. it's, um, yeah, it looks a little bit sad. And some of this wiring and stereo stuff, it's just, it's just a bit grot. Yes. You know what I mean? I mean, look, the front end is leaky and grot. Mm. But the back end, people, you need to flip it around and go in from behind because what I'm about to show you is going to blow your wormhole 69 Galaxy South. People are getting their wormholes blown a lot today. This man. is... The this car's is, spectacular. This is... Oh, Martin, don't even... Oh, Martin. Oh, yeah, we've got a 10 mil. All right, are you ready? Come around here. Come around here. But I want to show you as we see it. Because you might have gone, you know what? I've got a green car. I've got a turbo car. I don't care. You don't have this, though. No, I don't think anyone has what this. What we're about to show you is it's one of the most unique things i've ever seen it is one of the most unique modifications that i've ever seen in a vehicle and i would say useless except you could actually you could do all right from that well we could use it is it illegal you, is probably it, is it illegal to I don't use know. it i, I don't think know. it's illegal to use it properly it's not a gun mm. anyway everybody welcome to the vtech casino 
<laughs> now, in the back here, this is where the party really starts. You've got your roulette table up there. You've got your, I don't quite know how gambling works exactly, but just when you think things couldn't get any better, we're gonna undo this. Marty's gonna undo that on his side. Full show Where's spec. this going, you're wondering? Look, this is getting in the way. I can't quite see my gambling moves here. Oh. Yeah. Now, people, now you can put your number plate on display. You can put that there with some flashing lights. These are like 15 inch subs. I reckon. Or bigger, they're big. They're huge. They're huge. They're 15 dollars. Now, down here, there's lots of lights. There's lots of action going on. None of which currently works, but and then the question is red or black? The answer is neither, the answer is green. You spin the thing, throw the ball in, and then we bet to see which Civic stays on this show. Now, all the speakers are still in here as well. Now, a lot of the time when you get a sex bet car, all that stuff is gone. It is very rare that that stuff is still in here because that stuff is, um, it's worth money. Now, yeah. not a lot of money, but it was worth a lot of money. Like, even the amp here, that's been airbrushed yep. yellow and green to match the rest of the car. So they've yep. kind of had this very holistic approach to it. Have you noticed that around the gambling table, there's diamonds, there's mm. diamantes the around the whole thing? Reflectives for all the lights. And yes. then there's just little random switches sort of hidden everywhere. There's a lot of switches. Inside as well, if you come in the front, there's a lot of kind of little control panels and stuff that we're not really sure what they do yet. But I think part of the fun of this vehicle is going to be kind of working out what all this stuff does. So we've got a little control panel down here um, that I don't know what says on it. We've got another one here. I don't know what that does. We've got another one here. I gather some of them are controlling the sound. Is that um, what I think it is? Subs. Is that what I think it is? Uh, Martin, that there is a, I believe, a filthy screen. So there we go. So that <laughs> comes down. Over here, we've got our CD player and a DVD player. Uh, this one comes with a steering wheel. Uh, which is pretty cool. We've got our, um, what's this, a volt gauge and a boost gauge and that just says light. turbo on it. Um, a little shift light that's mounted up here that's quite nice. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, people, I want to I want to hear it. Well, I'm just going to make sure it's in neutral first. I'm just going to get a jumper pack before I put the key in that and dead. show you that it doesn't actually work. So that's something, that's, that's for Ron, man. That's for Ron. So that's it for now. Before we do anything, Martin. Oh. I know what you want to know. What are we doing to this car? Nothing, it's perfect. We're going to make it work again. We're bringing it back, man. This is catch and release minus the release it's catch because I want to keep it. You're keeping it? At least for a few days. <laughs> At least for a few days. So we are going to go down to Super Cheap Auto, get some basic supplies. Normally we've got all sorts of things to buy, but how do you improve on perfection? Mm. Well, a battery, an oil, Bit of a service. Service, man. Get Make it going it again. This hasn't like run and driven for a while, is there understanding? For maybe like half a decade or yeah. something? No, I don't know if it's that long, but it's 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 had a rough life. Years so though, right? Years. To make sure, because you know what? That engine, just having a tow on, it's cool, man. That's a big job, it's cool. Unlike Too Sexy, um, it seems that it will actually make power. I don't know what ECU is in there. We'll have to have a look and find well, out. Well, these Something's are all things we've got to find out. Something's and making power. If you're going to bother putting a big external gate on it and do all that stuff, like you've actually taken it seriously. So. It's worth um, worth doing it with basic service and just trying to make it work. And just trying to make it work. And then, of course, start some, um, start some trouble with some of the other vehicles. It it's possible, with cars that, are it's much possible faster than that it. this car is really fast. I know what you're thinking. It's got a wide body and then all of these pieces are just held on with builder's bog. It's not fast. But we don't know. This is the mystery. This is like a lucky dip. But it's a car. So um, we're going to go down to Super Cheap Auto. Stuff. We're going to buy a bunch of stuff. We're going to get this car back again. We're getting the casino table working. We're getting the subs working. This is a party in a box, man. That's what that is. A whole generation newer than the yellow Civic, man. Yeah. Only two years older and a whole generation different. Amazing. All right. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do is get all the parts we need to get this car going again. We're going to give it a service, see if there's anything wrong with it, and then hopefully get it working and back on the road in all its show car glory. Eventually it's also going to have to have a proper clean as well because it's been sitting around for ages and we want to bring back that full sex spec shine. Back at the shed, the first step is jack up your car. 
we're putting some jack stands underneath it so we can move around and check out exactly what it is that we've bought and what the condition is underneath. We're going to be dropping the oil, changing the plugs and then later on we'll run a compression test to try and get a health check of the engine. There's a one inch pipe hanging out from underneath here, next to the exhaust. Oh, has it got a screamer? Yeah. Dude, it's got a screamer. Yeah. Oh, the um... Venting to atmosphere, that's known as. The oil um, smells like petrol. See, if you bring a car out of hibernation, like something like this, where it's been modified and messed with, and as anyone knows who owns a modified car, sometimes they can be a little bit finicky, a little bit moody, a little bit precious. And, um, and what happens is, they sit for ages, here right there? They sit around for ages and don't get used and, you know, oils don't get changed, fluids don't get changed, things don't happen. And bringing it out of hibernation, you really want to be careful that you sort of check everything because otherwise the first five minutes of owning your mad new turbocharged custom thing could be kind of disappointing because it just didn't have enough oil in it or the turbo was wrong or there was stuff like just where it shouldn't be. So basics, plugs, fluids, check everything, make sure there's an ECU in there, I hope there is, running all this, maybe it's got a hacked Honda ECU, work all that out in advance now before you go and thrash it. It's tempting to go and thrash it the day you get it, don't do it. Or De do. Definitely go do Spark it. Spark plug removal, ready? By hand. <laughs> Just not tight. They're putting either really, really, really gently or they've worked themselves out or something, but they're not really supposed to do that. They're not too bad. A little bit fouled, maybe a bit lean on top. Meh, who knows. C look what's coming out of there. Look, smoke. Why is there smoke coming out? I have no idea. It looks like some parts of our car are already on fire and we haven't even tried to start it yet. Maybe it's the spirit of these airbrushed flames. We've dropped out the old oil and taken off the old filter, which will be replaced with a nice new one. Next step is to try and find the ECU to see if it's got any kind of engine management. Too sexy didn't, so it made turbo noises, but it was really slow. Um, I just want to see if someone's put an aftermarket one in or they've hacked it. Hacked a factory one. Um, oh, wow. Okay, well. What do you see, mate? They've hacked a factory one, but by hacked, I mean everything is twisted and taped. Oh, wow. What? But, but why? They've just... They've added bits of wire between, and that's exposed, and added bits of wire between... I have a theory. You're not going to like it. Do you want to hear my theory? I want to hear the theory, Martin. I wonder if this had a really good ECU. Oh and then just got put back to stock to sell because the ECU is worth thousands. So it might not even run properly then? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> yes, that's us. Amazing. Recycled. Nice. Thank you very much, mate. With a new battery delivered, we're one step closer to blast off. Because this car is actually modified to perfection already, it doesn't need anything at all except for the things that you may expect for a car that has been sitting this long, which is oil and a battery. Now, luckily, the Century truck just arrived that second, so we've got our new battery. There's our tie down. This one here can go in the bin. Here's our new Century one going in. Look at this Australian made. Very happy with that. Boom, boom, boom. Oil in, turn the key. Unless we need an ECU, Probably. we're going to find out shortly. Probably. Castrol Edge 5W40 gives you the confidence to demand maximum engine performance from today's modern, high revving sports and performance vehicles requiring higher performance oil. This is the highest performing Honda Civic on the internet. Right, well, 
That looks very much like a factory ECU. I hope it is the ECU. <laughs> after all that because it's buried up under the dash it's actually really difficult to get out probably a good thing if people are trying to steal cars and change ecus and immobilizers i don't know why you'd steal this but someone might have back in the day uh there's a possibility you can flash these things i hope that's what's happened because that might might actually turbo and do turbo things um but high chance it hasn't been so at least by looking at it we can open it up and see if there's any chips or find out what ecu would actually use we have no idea if this ecu will actually run the engine with a turbo on it but the show car must go on we're going to do a compression test just to make sure the engine's healthy enough for boost, make sure nothing's catastrophically wrong with it. Uh, now we've got a new battery in there, it's healthy enough to crank, the old battery was completely flat, so now we can do it. Spark plugs are out, compression test is in, let's hit it! Yep. That's healthy. What did it get to? 200. Nice. This is not like a super accurate, I mean you can talk about compression numbers and um, do all sorts of other tricks and things, but what we're really interested in is just seeing that it's even, it's consistent. You want it sort of consistent across the whole lot. Yep, same. Yep, all good. So even though our gauges might have slightly different readings on them, really what we want to see is that there's some consistency across all the cylinders. So if you've got 200, 200, 200, and then 30 or something, then you know that something is wrong. So as long as this one here kind of compresses up to around 200, then at least we know that we've got some consistency. So we'll just check this. Yep, perfect. She's all good. Next up, a new set of spark plugs is going in. The compression test is an excellent result. You've got to remember we bought this car completely sight unseen off the internet. We saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace, transferred the money and then sent a tow truck. So we had no idea what we were actually going to be getting. Worth also checking things like fuel hoses. This one looks really, really crusty. Like, look at that. Ah! So That's the chance. Thanks for asking. <laughs> if you all talk, you get left in the rear view. Waiting for that new mood to drop. Here's a preview. You say you be everywhere, but we don't ever see you. Everything I was was the first. It's the sequel. They ain't ready. Turn the speakers up and slamming again. Your favorite rap band producer reconnected this year. Ain't no slow This looks like it had an interceptor, and then the interceptor was removed because some wires have been cut into and it looks like you know a pair uh, you know two pairs of injector wires two pairs of coil stuff like that the kind of stuff an interceptor would be interested in and then a lot of our stuff is left alone so i reckon it had an interceptor in it to run it with a turbo like full old school um, and i reckon since then it's come out that's my theory it might still work it might not who knows it's time people to turn the key i bet you it's got old stinky fuel in it too so that's gonna stink so bad now first, because it's probably... Ah! Hey! Alarm it's alive. Voice. Did we tell you how much we paid for this car yet, by the way? I don't think we did. I don't people, think we told this people. Was... Don't tell them. Okay. They should guess. Okay. They should guess. I'll tell them next time. Yeah, guess okay. how much we paid. Write right. your guess in the comments. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready, people? Never. Are you ready, people? Here we go. All right, I'll make sure it's in. Did you put oil in it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Come on, Civic. Come on! Oh, I hear a fuel pump. It's gonna go, man. I believe. Oh, wait. My fault. I forgot to do something very important. <laughs> got no injectors? Yeah, it's got injectors. They're just they're not being told when to go off. That should work now. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Make it! Make it! Make it! Do intercooler things. Oh! Make man. it! Make noises. Oh, hold on. See if you can get some flutter and some dose, man. I dose shouldn't it rev it. I shouldn't rev it, though, man. You'll be right. Dose it up. Yeah! <laughs> that is so sick. All right, everybody, there it is. Yes. That is the Honda Civic off Marketplace. It works and it's running. Next episode, we're going for a drive. 
It needs a name, and whoever chooses the best name, we got a Mighty Car Mods prize pack coming your way. Now, if you want to support the show, you can get a purity shirt, you can get an in the bin shirt. Limited time only, only while you're seeing Hondas on the channel will there be an in the bin shirt. You can check that stuff out at MightyCarMods.com. Uh, and uh, next episode, we're going for the first drive. We're hitting boost. And um, we're, we're going to be driving for pinks, people. What? We are driving. Yeah, dude! Oh, God. We are driving for pink slips. What shall the car be called? Let us know below. The best name will get a prize. Check out the Mighty Come On's Facebook page too, because we might, might actually run the competition over there. This might actually, might fast. actually this, is so good. this might actually be really good. Yeah, cool. it will be. It might be. Awesome. All right. See you next time, everybody. I'm so hungry. Bye.